they pass the two, and it's hushing just the leader from Shinko Princess. We're trying to make ground over on the far side. The grey jacket of Court Queen, followed by Slumming Angel and Tide of Time, racing past the furlong point now, and Court Queen over on the far side comes up to pick it up from Hushing and Shinko Princess. Bang there between horses as they race up towards the finish. Court Queen on the far side of Hushing is coming back. Hushing and Court Queen, it's got to the judge. Shinko Princess third, then Ken War, Slumming Angel and Tide of Time. And it's hushing just the leader from Shinko Princess. We're trying to make ground over on the far side. The grey jacket of Court Queen, followed by Slumming Angel and Tide of Time. Racing past the furlong point now. And Court Queen over on the far side comes up to pick it up from Hushing and Shinko Princess. Bang there between horses as they race up towards the finish. Court Queen on the far side of Hushing is coming back. Hushing and Court Queen, it's got to the judge. Shinko Princess third, then Ken War, Slumming Angel and Tide of Time. As they race now towards the final furling and a half, and the leader in the middle of the track is free to roam with Landline making ground between horses, and they're followed by Peace Mission with Intense Starlet, Gifted Lady next with Sarah Ash Callum and a Lightly Story, but it's Landline in front for the Clearies as they run up towards the finish. It's Landline stretching on a couple of lengths clear, and at the finish, Landline wins well from free to roam. DK Travel flashed home to be involved for the third Peace Mission is trying to make a bit of ground, followed by Landline. As they race now towards the final furling and a half, and the leader in the middle of the track is free to roam, with Landline making ground between horses. And they're followed by Peace Mission, with Intense Starlet, Gifted Lady next, with Sir Ash Callum and a Lightly Story, but it's Landline in front for the Clearies. As they run up towards the finish, it's Landline stretching on a couple of lengths clear. And at the finish, Landline wins well from free to roam. DK Travel flashed home to be involved the third with Sarah Callum, then Gifted Lady, a likely story, and they're followed in by Peace Mission. A Spanish point one from the rail challenges Zabriskie, and these two are out in front of Saracen Knight, who's trying to make ground in the centre of the track ahead of Harbour Approach, and then Theotonius. A Spanish point on the near side continues to duel it out with Zabriskie, and the pair are clear of Saracen Knight as they race into the closing stages now. A Spanish point and Zabriskie on the inside as they run up towards the line, and it's going to be close. Zabriskie on the inside of Spanish point. A Spanish point one from the rail challenges Zabriskie, and these two are out in front of Saracen Knight, who's trying to make ground in the centre of the track ahead of Harbour Approach and then Theotonius. A Spanish point on the near side continues to duel it out with Zabriskie, and the pair are clear of Saracen Knight as they race into the closing stages now. A Spanish point and Zabriskie on the inside as they run up towards the line, and it's going to be close. Zabriskie on the inside of Spanish point, and in third place, Saracen Knight. One, two, three, four, eight, and O'Brien, and these three pulled away from the others. Racing now towards the final furlong. And little to choose between Alona, who's battling on with on the near side triple sec, laying down a challenge up the rail is Skolnar Shunta, and then comes Blue Petal as triple sec and Ronan Wheel and wear them down as they run up to the finish. And it's a double for owner Richard Barnes as triple sec scores by about a length and a half. Beats Skolnar Shunta, who's racing now towards the final furlong. And little to choose between Alona, who's battling on with on the near side triple sec, laying down a challenge up the rail is Skolnar Shunta, and then comes Blue Petal as triple sec and Ronan Wheel and wear them down as they run up to the finish. And it's a double for owner Richard Barnes as triple sec scores by about a length and a half. Beats Skolnar Shunta with in third place Alona, Blue Petal next and fourth. Racing on to the final furlong now. Zircon on the rail, followed by Eleuthera, Hatton Cross. Sea of Hope, feeling easy on the outside, is coming home very strongly. And from the back, Military Hill is feeling easy, gets to the front in the closing stages. Head Sea of Hope and Military Hill flying on the near side as they go towards the judge. Military Hill on the near side of feeling easy.
racing on to the final furlong now. Zircon on the rail, followed by Eleuthera, Hatton Cross, Sea of Hope, feeling easy on the outside, is coming home very strongly, and from the back, Military Hill is feeling easy, gets to the front in the closing stages, Head Sea of Hope and Military Hill flying on the near side as they go towards the judge, Military Hill on the near side of feeling easy, and Sea of Hope next in third place, one for the judge. As they race inside the two, and it's Rick Rack, pressed now one from the rail by Longing, small bit of love, being followed by Warnack and Hope Lake. Right over towards the near side is this way, Caddo, heading on now inside the final furlong, Longing on the near side of Rick Rack. These two now, as they run up towards the finish, it's Longing and Shamie Heffernan from Rick Rack, who's trying to fight back for Colm O'Donoghue, but Longing is half a length to three parts too good for Rick Rack. Third is Warnack, followed in then by this way, Caddo, Hope Hope Lake and small bit of love. Right over towards the near side is this way, Caddo, heading on now inside the final furlong, longing on the near side of Rick Rack. These two now, as they run up towards the finish, it's Longing and Shamie Heffernan from Rick Rack, who's trying to fight back for Colm O'Donoghue, but Longing is half a length to three parts too good for Rick Rack. Third is Warnack, followed in then by this way, Caddo, Hope Lake and small bit of love. Racing now to the final furlong, Harvey Specter comes to join Cracking Name, followed by Sleepy Head. Over on the far side, Bright Lass is running on with Admiralty, and then comes Bella Rua. Harvey Specter and Dennis Lennon on the near side in the lead as they run up towards the finish. It's Harvey Specter's race, close second and third between Sleepy Head and Bella Rua with Admiralty. Racing now to the final furlong, Harvey Specter comes to join Cracking Name, followed by Sleepy Head. Over on the far side, Bright Lass is running on with Admiralty, and then comes Bella Rua. Harvey Specter and Dennis Lennon on the near side in the lead as they run up towards the finish. It's Harvey Specter's race, close second and third between Sleepy Head and Bella Rua with Admiralty next ahead of Bright Lass Punches Pius, an early leader cracking name.